Hello students, I hope your preparation for the upcoming CUT exam that is scheduled to be held in March 2024 is going good. And we at AgriVision for you are here to help you out with the previous year questions that were asked in CUT exam so that you all are familiar with the pattern of the questions and the way they ask the questions and the flow of the questions so that you are aware about the technique you have to attempt the questions in the exam. So uh, we have already made part one of this uh, video uh, in which we discussed that first eight questions and now here we here we, we are with the part two of the video and we'll be discussing next eight questions so stay connected with us if you have not watched the part one yet it's in the i button you can see that and uh, we'll straight away go with the video so coming on to the question number nine we have assertion and reason based question that is crumbliness in butter is a desirable attribute so it is not it is not at all a desirable attribute as we discussed in the dairy technology class. Then it is due to the sudden chilling of butter due to soon after production. Yeah, this is correct. So your assertion is wrong, but the reason is correct. So that means your fourth option is the right answer for this question. This question was asked in CUT 2022. Coming to the next question, we have homogenization of milk is done at 60 degrees Celsius because at 60 degrees Celsius, Fat remains as liquid form. Yes, this is correct. Falling of milk is lower. No, this is not. Then microorganisms get inactivated. We know at 60 degrees Celsius, they will not get inactivated. Then creaming of milk is not affected. See, homogenization step is done only to affect the creaming. Otherwise, your milk cream will get separated upon storage. So we are going for homogenization to decrease the particle size of your fat globules so that they are uh, much smaller in size and they are easily digestible also. So creaming will obviously be affected. So this is also wrong. Then lipase is inactivated. This is true. So A and E are the right option for this question, which makes third as the right answer for this question. This was asked in CUT 2022. Then coming to our 11th question, which we are having from Hunter color parameters. So this is from your sensory evaluation chapter. We will be discussing about this in our class also. So Hunter color parameter is used to measure and uh, numerically the value of the color of any food item and to match it with the standard values. So we can see that A positive indicates redness and A negative indicates the greenness of food samples. That is correct. Then L0 indicates perfect black and L100 indicates perfect white. That is also correct. Then B star po indicates positive yellowness and B negative indicates blueness of the food sample. That is also correct. L0 indicate perfect white and L100 indicates perfect black. That is wrong. So this makes out as A, B and C as the right option, which is your second option for this question. This question was also asked in CVT 2022. So you can see that they have not only concentrated to a specific topic. These questions are from in depth of all the chapters which we have discussed in the class. Coming to our next question, which is your 12th question. Flat star spoilage in heated canned foods is due to. So this is straight away the right answer. We have discussed already this in microbiology class. It is due to bacillus coagulus. This question was also asked in 2022. So which makes A only that is a first path as the right answer for this questions. Other ones are not related to your flat star spoilage in canned heated foods. Then coming to the 13th question, we have which of the following states statements are correct. That means sterilization of the food by radiation is known as radiopatization. That is also correct. Then killing of pathogens by radiation is known as radicization. That is correct. Prolonging shelf life by radiation is known as radurization. This is also correct. I told you all that radiation uh, irradiation is a very important topic and you need to be very clear with the dosage level that is below one kilogram, within one kilogram to two kilogram, two kilogram to five kilogram, 10 kilogram and beyond 10 kilogram. What are the uses of irradiation and the mechanism? I already explained it in class. So the people who are attending the classes, who they will be very well aware about what is the mechanism of irradiation. It works by two mechanisms. That is first of your DNA denaturation and second is the formation of free radicals that we have discussed in very much detail. Then to uh, check the answer, that is your first A, B, C, both are all are correct. So third is the right option for this question. This question was also asked in CVT 2022. Then coming to the question number 14. Milk is pasteurized to kill pathogenic organisms. Yes, this is correct. Pasteurization is process is done. It is a mild heat treatment to kill the pathogenic organisms. Then pasteurization of milk also improves the shelf life of the milk. Yes, it will increase the shelf life of the milk. Apart from that, it is also coupled with your Chilled storage. That that is at four 
per degree Celsius. The chilled storage temperature and the cold line is maintained at four degrees Celsius, and the package of milk which you all are getting every day at your homes is also maintained at four degrees Celsius, and it is also pasteurized milk. So both statement one and statement two are correct. So which makes first as the right answer for the question this question was also asked in cvt 2022 coming to the next question we have vac creation is a process of pasteurization of cream so as in milk it is termed as uh, pasteurization of milk in cream a different terminology is used and process of also somewhat different in statement two we will discuss about that cream is heated rapidly by injecting steam under vacuum so you can see that it will be a high temperature short time method so both the statements are correct which makes first as the right option for this question this question was also asked in cvt 2022 coming to the next question datum and the name i have given you here diacetyl tartaric acid ester of mono and diglycerides also known as e472 i told you when we were discussing about the bakery products that it is a very common uh, food additive which is used in bakery products in order to increase the uh, quality of your breads and apart from that some bromates are also used but they are not uh, like permitted to be used in foods. So datum is a type of emulsifier. Yes, this is correct. And datum finds application in bread making to improve the bread volume. This is also correct. So which makes out first as the right answer for this question. And this question was also asked in CVT 2022. So I hope you all learned some new questions for this uh, session and uh, you all will be now aware about the topics and the depth of the question and what is the method of uh, like what's the approach of them when they are asking the question you can find that they are not having direct questions they are having matched the following question a certain reason based questions and then you will be having some true false based questions also so you need to be thorough enough with all the topics so that you can attempt the paper properly if in case you have any doubt related to any of your queries related to food sensor technology you may comment that query below and we'll try to respond that as soon as possible apart from that we'll be soon having a crash course which you can join in which we'll be covering the whole syllabus of your cuet sqp 12 that is for your food science and technology so stay connected with us for the part three and we'll be soon posting the part three in which we'll be discussing the next questions which were from your 2022 and 2023 all the best for your exams and i hope you all are doing your preparations well thank you all for watching this video